Hey everyone, I'm back today with a video flip through of my Pacific Northwest travel album. We went to Whidbey and Seattle in 2019. I finished this album in the beginning of August and I put it on my shelf and forgot about it. So I'm going to flip through it today before I get too far into all my October daily stuff. So in the inside cover, oh, I did a 10 by eight album. This is from Allie Edwards. I think it's from a travel collection. I don't know which year. On the inside front cover, I just have some extra stickers Oops. Um, from Seattle. And then on my cover page, I put in one of these large Go wood um, pieces from Allie Edwards and I painted it white. And actually at first I painted it like to match this and I didn't like the way that it looked and then I painted it white. I wish I would have just left it plain, but I didn't, so it is what it is. So I wrapped some twine, twine around it and then added this little compass charm. And this is just Whidbey Island. So I kept it pretty simple. And then on the back here, I have a map of the island and then just the dates of our trip. And then each day I have a divider, an acetate divider. These are from scrapbook.com, so I'll try to link those down below. And then I use the heart map. This is from an Allie Edwards travel collection. I added a brad. These are the number countdown brads from Tim Holtz. And then I stamped out the date. And then inside I added a little heart and I stamped something on it and throughout is kind of like a message to Kevin because it was our anniversary trip. So I don't know. I just wanted to put something in the pockets and I didn't put anything on the back side of those. So our first page, I added the fly little wood embellishment from Allie and I added a airplane. I think this is from, I want to say color cast designs and just tied it on there. And I made a little pocket. And I added um, some journaling about why we were going on vacation. And then I added tags for each of us, like our names and ages. I have a charm on there that just says, go see, explore. Sorry about the glare. And then I have a picture. I did not take very many pictures of us in the airport. so. I had a video and I screenshotted this from the video and so that's why my face looks weird. I couldn't get one of me like not talking, but I didn't have anything so I really wanted one. And then just a picture outside of the plane. And then on the back side I have um, us on the ferry over to Whidbey Island. And each day I did my journaling, or each event I guess, not really each day specifically. But I did, I stamped out the title for the journaling and then just typed up my journaling. And here I added my boarding pass. And then I love maps and travel albums. So I did a map here of, this is the ferry route from the airport to our rental. You guys, this rental house was gorgeous. It was so awesome. It was like all windows on one side and that faced the water. So here, here is the view from the inside in the kitchen, just looking out. They had a huge deck on the back. It was, it was so awesome. Here's the living room. So I had, I did some journaling about the house. They had like this little built-in bunk bed up here in case you were traveling with children. The whole thing was open floor plan. So there were no walls that went all the way to the ceiling. The whole back of the house is windows. So there was not really a lot of privacy in the house, but it was great for just me and Kevin. And they had this hammock out in the backyard. So we went and sat out in the hammock for a while by the water. So we did a lot of relaxing this trip. Here's Kevin out on the back deck it's right next to the water, view of the water, and then just some of us on the hammock. And then another photo of the backyard with the hammock. So that was all day one, which was our travel day. And then we had day two. So this one says you and me. 
And I did another map for day two. We actually went into Seattle. So we took the ferry back into Seattle and we went to Pike's Place Chowder and the gum wall and the underground tour. So this was just sunrise in the morning, looking off of the deck. And then picture of the Space Needle. This is us in the ferry on the way over. Um, we were at the public market. And then this is us at Pike Place Chowder, which is really good and you can have it delivered actually. It's a very long line, you have to wait in and it's hard to get a table. So we were excited, we got a spot at the counter just a postcard from Public Market, Pike Place Chowder, and Public Market sticker again. Then we went to visit the gum wall, which obviously I thought was gross. <laughs> There's just gum everywhere. But it was something to see, that's for sure. So we went, we didn't have gum with us, so we went and bought some gum. So I had this Seattle gum wall package. Then we went on the underground tour, which was really, really cool. Um, I'm claustrophobic. Well, actually I'm, I have, I think it's cleithrophobia. It's like afraid of being trapped. So I did not like being underground unless I was like the last person in line. So I told the tour guide, I'm like, I have to be the last person so that I don't have people like trapping me in so I can get out if I need to. Anyway, so I was on the tour and then um, just at the end of the line. This is a view of the sidewalk, the city level sidewalk. So from the city or from the sidewalk, it looks like this. You can't really tell that there's anything underneath you, but this is the view from underground and you can see up and see the light and all that. And you can see when people walk on it. There's just Kevin in the underground. It was really dirty and stuff, but it was, it was really cool to be there. So I made a little twirly page pocket. I love, not pocket, a little twirly page. Um, I love doing that, it's fun. I think it's just fun to add a nice interactive element onto your book. So I added um, just some different photos from the underground tour, different things that were in there. And then I added this little pocket right here with our wristbands for the tour. And then this is, this was like one of my favorite pieces there. Um, I wish I had fit the whole thing in it says Sam's. Then we went over to Alki Beach and it has a really good view of the city, the Seattle city skyline. So if you ever want to go over there and take pictures, I look so horrible in this picture because of the uh, humidity, my hair is just like frizzing out, my eyeliner is running, but anyway, it is what it is, right? And then we went to dinner over in Alki Beach and then took the ferry back. Day three, this says forever and always. And then I have another map. So day three, we just kind of went exploring around the island. But first we had to go to the emergency department because Kevin had, he got a rash from moving furniture in our house before we went and it got really bad when we were there. So he had to go to the emergency room and get like steroids. So they'd put like all kinds of steroids on it and stuff and then gave him an antibiotic too. So this is my visitor pass sticker and then his, um, wristband and then just him outside of the emergency room and then we went while we were in the emergency department we asked them like where should we go on the island what um, places should we eat and so they told us to go to this restaurant called captain Woodby's. so we did that and it has they have like this fire pit out there it's right on the water so we just went and hung out by the fire pit that's what this is here and just checked out the water, we walked down the pier, just hung out and relaxed, so that was nice. Um, this is a map of the island. It folds out. Um, this is the next, 
think this is that morning. No, this is after we got back from exploring around the island. We went, we saw this little coffee shack by our house. So we stopped there and got some coffee and just hung out on the back patio. And then just more pictures of us when we were exploring. So we found this telephone booth, which we thought was really cool. It still had, it was working. It still had like a phone book in there and everything. So I just did some journaling about that in here. And then on, we found this lighthouse and I just did a, I loved this paper from Allie Edwards. It was like a big giant postcard. So I decided to make it like a postcard and wrote a letter to Whidbey. It just says, Dear Whidbey, we loved exploring the, the island, discovering new places, relaxing in the hammock and taking in the view. We hope to visit again. Love, Tanya and Kevin. This is day four, it says love of my life. And this was our anniversary. I think this was our 18th anniversary. Yeah, 18th anniversary. And so at the time, the um, Stranger Things was pretty big and I had just watched it for the first time. So <laughs> Kevin thought it was funny to watch me watch the show and be scared, especially when they were doing like this, the lights. Um, so if you have seen it, you know, I think probably most people have seen it. Um, and then, so he did that for me. He spelled out a message for me in Christmas lights and it just says, I love you. And then he did um, the Ego waffles for breakfast. And then we went to a bakery and got some really good cinnamon rolls and some coffee. And the, um, the people at the emergency, I think it was the emergency department, told us that they had filmed Practical Magic on Whidbey Island. And so this bakery actually was the place that was Sally's um, storefront. It was her store. And so anyway, we were like excited to go explore all these places where Practical Magic had been filmed on the island. So that's what this what it looks like from the outside now and then if you flip it over it shows what it looks like during filming so they had painted it white during filming and they had changed out the sign at the top and then here's just a picture of her inside the store and then this is her going into the store and then this one is um called Toby's and this is what it looks like now so they definitely changed the front of this one a lot um, you can kind of see the same signs they it looks like they added something up there anyway this is um, I think what was it the catch and fry this was the catch and fry so I thought that was fun just to have these twirl around and see what it looks like now versus what it looked like during filming and then here I bought the sticker in the coffee shop from one of the local artists there and just added some some little coffee things for decoration and then here's another picture of it's the need and feed i think it's changed names now it's something else now but it's still there and then we went to front street so we walked out onto the pier this is just a photo that i took of it and then i did have a postcard of it we did some shopping, so here's one of my shopping bags, and I just like that it said, I would be on Whidbey if I could be back to the island. And just pictures of us out on the pier at Coopville. Then we went to the Admiralty Head Lighthouse and had fun climbing up the stairs. We were the only ones in the lighthouse, so we had to get a kissy photo on our anniversary. That's what the lighthouse looks like from the outside. And I did get a stamp also while I was there because I think it's a state park. Yeah, state park. There's a sticker of it and there's just us in front of it with another sticker. And then here's Toby. So we decided to go to Toby's for our anniversary dinner. Um, everyone said this was like the place to go. So we went there for dinner and I tried mussels for the first time. And as you can see, I did not like them because <laughs> they were like 
slimy and crunchy at the same time and I was not expecting the crunch so it just grossed me out that I was eating some like skeletal thing I don't know so they're the best place to get mussels and beer on the island and then day 15 was a travel day or sorry day five not 15 um day five was a travel day home and I didn't have enough stuff to do like a full cover so I just put put it here and it just says thank you for being the reason I smile and then just journaling about traveling home so just a quick trip over to Whidbey Island in Seattle. I love that area. I had fun just putting this together. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I will be back soon with another video.